Welcome to the Know, I'm Mika. I'm Ben. It looks like the DRM in Assassin's Creed Origins is getting into the swoopy Halloween spirit because according to some gamers, it's straight up murdering CPUs like Jason and Freddy style. Yes, we're hearing reports that the game has extra double stuffed DRM that's apparently quite a drain on PCs and not tasty like Oreos. Well, that's not dark at all. Nah. So yeah, it looks like the game isn't much of a treat when it comes to smooth performance. Rip those frame rates, uh, at least until someone cracks it. Would you say it's more of a trick then? It's not a treat? Ah, uh, spoopy. While nothing has been officially confirmed yet, there's a lot of online conversation that the latest anti-piracy software on Assassin's Creed Origins is making the game really tough to play on PC. And while some of these rumors come from a notorious cracking group, we're also seeing first-hand accounts from gamers who definitely notice something seems wrong when it comes to the game's performance. Hmm, here's a little background before we dig into the specific allegations. Assassin's Creed Origins released a few days ago on PC, as well as PS4 and Xbox One. It's one of the biggest releases of the year for Ubisoft, which was not surprising surprisingly put DRM on it to discourage yeah. piracy. And while PC issues aren't anything unique, when it comes to a new release, there seems to be quite a few complaints about the game being an unusually big resource hog, even for gamers with high-end setups. One cracking group says that this all has to do with Denuvo, the much cracked piece of anti-piracy software that's probably more famous these days for getting removed in a record time. They claim Ubisoft has doubled down on the DRM in Assassin's Creed Origins and put even more software known as VM Protect on top of Denuvo. Hmm, protection on top of protection, that yeah. always ends up well. Yeah. One one cracker named Voxky tells Torrent Freak that the extra software reduces the game's performance by 30 to 40 percent and basically requires that people have a more expensive CPU to play it properly. It's anti consumer and a disgusting move, he said. Okay, but what is VM Protect? Well, basically, it's DRM for DRM. Normal. It's software that makes it harder to crack and reverse engineer other software. Voxy conceded that the presence of VM Protect does make it harder to crack Denuvo, but he added, if you are a legit customer, well, it's not that great for you since this combo could tank your performance by a lot, especially if you're using a low to mid-range CPU. That's why we are seeing 100% CPU usage on four core CPUs right now, for example. Ah, sweet, ready to burn through those CPUs. <laughs> God bless those altruistic pirates, always looking out for consumer rights. Needless <laughs> to say, this group is hardly unbiased biased when it comes to DRM. Voxy's group Revolt was famous recently for cracking Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, even before it was released last week. Which is impressive. But it's not just those folks who are sounding the alarm. Lots of Steam users are also wondering why they're having problems running the game. One poster said, it really doesn't seem to matter what kind of GPU you are using. The performance issues most people here are complaining about are tied to CPUs getting maxed out at 100% at all times. This results in FPS drops and stutter. As far as I know, there is no workaround. Another wrote that the game seemed to run fine the first couple of days, but then they wrote that they loaded it up tonight and noticed the bottlenecking. Opened up Task Manager on my second monitor, and sure enough, every time it stuttered, the CPU went to 100%. Not everyone was having issues, especially those with high-end rigs, but even those machines had to work a little bit harder than normal. Another Steam user said, I have an 8-core processor, but the game runs flawlessly, but... I can feel that the computer is working to play it smoothly. Hmm. Others weren't buying that the performance issues were due to the software, with some programmers weighing in on Reddit and saying that screenshots that people were posting as proof were only confirming the existence of copy protection software and nothing more. But let's say Voxy is right and Ubisoft did double up on DRM for this game. Why in the world would they do that? Hmm. The short answer is that they put a lot of money into Assassin's Creed Origins and cracking groups have absolutely no trouble beating Denuvo anymore, as it's been proven. It's routinely cracked within days of a game's release, and like we said in the case of Wolfenstein 2, it was cracked before the game even hit the streets. Hmm. So what could this mean for the future? Well, if this is true and these new anti-piracy measures work, it's not hard to believe that other studios will try it too. Cracking is a huge issue for PC games, and even if it drastically affects performance, other studios could follow suit with this combo of Denuvo plus VM Protect, at least until the complaints from gamers gets too loud. But it will definitely spark an outcry from gamers, especially the legit ones who find that the presence of DRM affects performance. We saw tons of complaints over in the DRM and Rhyme, with many saying that it slowed the game down. Oh, and the DRM and Sonic Mania, basically forced gamers to play the game online until it too was cracked. There were also complaints that the DRM on Forza Horizon 3 caused stuttering issues, so not a good track record for mm, DRM. Not so much. It feels like the strategy of many developers when it comes to DRM is to cross their fingers and use it to hold off pirates for as long as possible 
before waving the white flag. That could be what Ubisoft is trying here, just in a bigger way. After all, most PC games make their money in the first few weeks and months of their release, and some developers end up removing Denuvo after it gets cracked. We've seen that in games like Doom and Inside. Rhyme's developers even said straight up that they'd remove Denuvo from the game once it was cracked, which of course happened almost immediately. I mean, at this point, I feel like most developers just have like a days since Denuvo cracks right? sign. <laughs> and they just sadly wipe it and turn it to zero. All of this controversy over Assassin's Creed Origins DRM naturally led some gamers to are you a surprised review bomb the game on Steam? One reviewer gave it a thumbs down and wrote, actively tanking the game's performance with extra anti-piracy methods is absolutely disgusting and inexcusable. Another wrote, until Ubisoft releases a patch and gets rid of these insane DRM, I'ma tell you, I'm tell you, to stay away from this game. Again. We haven't heard anything from Ubisoft, but it definitely seems like they've got some angry PC users on their hands. And considering that nobody's figured out a bulletproof DRM that won't gobble up your CPU resources like candy corn, Yee. this is a problem that's not going away anytime soon. So what do you guys think about the DRM on Assassin's Creed Origin? Have you noticed it's slowing down your PC? I'ma tell you what. I'm sorry, I can't get over I'm tell you. Let us know in the comments. And for all your Assassin's Creed Origin news, be sure to like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know. I too remember when Sebastian was dressed as a witch. But you're on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for?